Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2017, and I'm here at a local pond because I want to try out my new toy. I got myself a new fly rod. This is actually a three weight fly rod, which is lighter than the five weight, which was up until now my only other fly rod. So I wanted to give it a try to uh, see if I could get some bluegills today and see how they feel on the lighter weight pole. And I know this place is chock full of bluegill and crappie and even some small bass. So hopefully I can tie into some of those today and give this new fly rod a workout. There we go. All right, not bad. The new fly rod has been christened. Christened by a chunky bluegill. There we go. As soon as I moved it to try to take it away from him, he got it. I switched away from that popping bug, tried to uh, tried to change it up with a, a little insect fly. I think it's some kind of an ant pattern, maybe. He liked it. There we go. All right, another bluegill. One thing I am noticing right off the bat about this fly rod is it's a lot easier to cast than my 5 weight. It's not that I can cast farther, it's just easier for me to cast. It's lighter, it's shorter, it's only 7.5 feet as opposed to 9 feet. And I can feel a lot less, a lot less torque in my wrist and my shoulder when I false cast with it. So whereas with the five weight, constant casting would get me tired after a couple hours, I feel like I could last a lot longer with this one. There we go. Kind of messed up that cast, but it doesn't look like it mattered. I went back to the popping bug because that little ant pattern was only getting tiny fish. This one's a little bit beefier. Far from a lonker, but it's a step up. There we go. That was a nice hit. feisty bluegill. They are digging the popping bug now. There we go. I'm hooked up on a stick too. Oh, there we go. Had to slingshot him in, but I got him. That was a vintage 
Lord Almighty fly rod catch right there where nothing goes right and I still somehow manage to catch the fish. There we go. All right. Figured I'd move over to my to the shade. For myself and for the fish. There we go. This fish actually got some shoulders on him. Putting up a good fight. Or maybe it's just this light fly rod. Well, that's a that's a decent bluegill. I find that I'm getting good results by letting the fly hit the water pretty hard and making a decent sized splash. And that kind of makes sense because in the summertime on a weedy pond, you're not going to find your, your mayflies and your stoneflies and your midges, which barely make a ripple when they hit the water. You got your dragonflies, you got your grasshoppers. You got your big beetles, you know, the kind of stuff that's going to go splat when it hits the water. And I think it's that splat that attracts the fish, at least in part anyway. There we go. This one's decent. Big old copper belly bluegill. Alrighty. They're getting a little bigger. There we go. Almost pulled this one out of the water on the hook set. Good to know I haven't lost my touch for that. There we go. Again, almost pulled him right out of the water. Oh well, got him. That's the most important thing. I think this thing was tracking it. I saw him swirl on it and he followed it a few more feet before he came back and got it. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to do it for me this evening. So, verdict on the new fly rod. I absolutely love it. It's easy to use. It's fun to use. It's probably the perfect size for these little bluegill ponds around here. So, you're definitely going to be seeing this thing again. Maybe not immediately, but you'll definitely be seeing it around. So, thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see you on the next adventure.